Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to this six week transformation series. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through my evening routine. So evening routine is uh, an important element of my day. It allows me to finish the day on the front foot, which then allows me to get a good night's sleep uh, and start the next day on the front foot. So I'm gonna give you a number of principles for your evening routine, why I do certain things, and I'll give you some examples that I use for my own personal evening routine. So first things first, uh, I'm going to reduce artificial light as much as possible once the sun goes down. This is because the light spectrum, when it hits your eyes, it signals uh, to your brain what time of the day it is, which then uh, produces certain effects within the body, produce certain hormones. So we essentially get up and start seeking food, water and shelter. For example, when the sun comes up, um, we get cortisol, adrenaline increase. All right, When the sun goes down, we want to minimize that. We want to upregulate uh, melatonin production, which is uh, one of our hormones that allows us to get to sleep. All right, so that's the first thing we do. Um, obviously, we live in this day and age where artificial light is everywhere, so I'm going to put on blue light blocking glasses. Uh, once the sun goes down, if I am out and about, if I'm just at home, it's going to dampen the lights and only have on um, some kind of mellow yellow or orange lights uh, rather than bright fluorescent lights. All right, second thing is I turn my phone off at nine o'clock now. Uh, again, this removes uh, the possibility of picking up my phone, being distracted, scrolling through social media, etc. Okay, but also um, removes that potential stimulation that comes from the phone, right? I want to start setting myself up for a good night's sleep, so I'm going to start unwinding uh, and removing all the stimulus. All right, so um, I turn my phone off at nine o'clock. Uh, I like to be in bed asleep by around 10, 10.30, so that gives me a good hour, hour and a half to unwind, no phone usage, etc. no blue light in the eyes. All right, um, next thing is try and make your room as dark as possible. I uh, have blackout curtains. Um, I've got uh, tape sitting over some of the lights that shine through. Um, I try and make the room as dark as possible. Uh, if I'm sleeping in an area where uh, I'm traveling or I'm not my own location, for example, I'll wear a mask, um, find what works for you. Now, the next thing is I wanna make the room as cold as possible as well. Or basically, our, our core temperature is going to drop one to two degrees when we go to sleep. So if your core temperature stays elevated for uh, longer periods when you're going to sleep, the room's not cold enough, for example, you'll find you'll find you'll have trouble getting to sleep and you'll find uh, yourself having trouble staying asleep. All right, so uh, make the room as cold as possible just before you go to bed. I turn my phone off at nine o'clock, like I mentioned. Um, then what I'm gonna do is go through my um, brain dump. So I'll get a journal and I'll start writing down all the shit that's on my mind, basically clear that out so I don't go through this cycle of I've got to do this tomorrow, I've got to call this person, I've got to email this person, I've got to pay this bill, I've got to buy dog food, I've got to blah, blah, blah. Your brain's gonna repeat the same thing to you 30 minutes later, which then obviously um, causes issues with trying to get to sleep. So in my mind, to give me peace of mind, I get all that stuff out. Um, uh, and as I mentioned, when I go through that, then I'm gonna turn my air con down, um, probably as low as possible, maybe 20 degrees. Uh, then I'm gonna go and take a hot shower, a very brief hot shower. So what happens here, uh, you take the hot shower, your core temperature is going to automatically try and balance that out. It's gonna try and cool down. So you take your hot shower, brush your teeth, walk back into a cold room. Okay, core temperature is going to drop, which is going to make it far easier to get to sleep. Then I'm gonna jump uh, under my covers. I'm gonna start reading now. Um, depending on where I'm at in my life, what's going on will determine what I'm reading. Okay, but I like to read uh, something kind of a little bit light but educational uh, at nighttime before I go to bed. And I'll basically read until I've read the same sentence three times and my brain's just not comprehending what I'm reading. So that's a good sign for me that uh, it's time to go to sleep. I don't have to do anything. Um, basically just flick off the lamp, uh, put my book down. I'm also going to use earplugs so I can remove uh, any kind of external noises or reduce that as much as possible because um, I'm one of those people, if I'm in a different environment, I'm traveling, etc. cetera, um, my senses are hyper alert. So uh, earplugs for me and having a sleeping mask for me works really well, just kind of removes um, you know, those senses to allow me to get a better night's sleep. So um, 
that's a, a very brief example of my evening routine, how I set that up, set that up to get the most out of uh, a good night's sleep. Um, you guys will need to play around with what works best for you, the structure, the order that works best for you so that you can get a good night's sleep as well. Uh, if you enjoy this content, make sure you pass it off to a friend and family or friends and family. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow along, take some gems from this journey. Much love, peace.